Hi everyone, this is the Tesco from my blog zone. Uh, today I will show you uh, one of the best uh, related post plugins that I've been using lately and uh, I will also give you the reason why I actually switched from uh, other type of plugins that I've been using to the current one that I will show you today. But uh, first, uh, let me just run real quick why uh, it's important to actually have a related post uh, on your website, especially if you're on WordPress. And as a matter of fact, this is a, uh, um, a presentation for WordPress users. Um, related post is uh, nothing more than just basically uh, giving your users more uh, options to actually uh, be able to read more content from your site based on the relevancy of the current post they're actually reading. Um, so basically what it does is it gives your users more content to, to read, sorry about that, uh, while they're on your blog. So basically if you, if you uh, go to a, any website or in this case, I'm showing you mine, one of the, uh, the uh, blog posts that I have here, which is best SEO practices. As you can see, once the reader uh, finishes reading all this information that I provide here, at the end, towards the end, they will have this uh, other options where they can visit. Uh, so basically, if you look at this one here, uh, it's actually pretty accurate the information that's here uh, most plugins or most related post plugins or widgets or whatever will um, return results based on specific algorithms that they have now one of the reasons that I actually been changing from related post plugins to plugins is because uh, most of them are not only not quite accurate but also the main reason actually is because you really don't have any control of what the uh, results are returned here while on this particular example you will see that it's actually quite accurate because i have a best seo practice 2013 so that's returning 2012 2011 another post here related to seo and then also google's seo uh, starter guide update now obviously all that information is accurate but if for some reason you want to change it to tailor it a little bit more and actually direct your users to a different post most plugins won't allow you to do that and the plugin that I'm referring to right now is Zamanta well um, Zamanta is, is uh, quite popular as you all know and one of the real cool features that I like about this plugin is because you can actually edit these uh, related posts here. So basically what happens is that once you have these results and you're not satisfied with them, all you have to do is just click on the edit related post and the Zamanta will immediately return you with other posts that are quite relevant to the uh, particular post that you uh, you're editing this too but so as you can see it really returns quite good results pretty accurate this is all related to se over here uh, for example in the particular case if you know that there was the best seo practices for 2011 in my case i think that's pretty outdated so i might just want to go ahead and change that for example that specific one to let's say um all right how about I don't know, let me see if I can find something here that I would like. Uh, quite frankly, I really don't like any of them. <laughs> so, but basically that's the uh, interesting bit. If you don't like any, any of them, you can actually even do a search. And this, what it will do, it will search within your whole website, anything that's related to the keyword you're gonna be typing in. So let me just try this to SEO 2013 and let's see what's going to what it's going to return there you go so now it's a little bit more uh, the, the results are quite different uh, I actually like this one SEO 2013 onwards it's a post that uh, compares 
the old SEO to the new SEO and it'd be very interesting for my readers to, to follow up on the post that they're actually currently reading to this one just for them to have an idea. So let's say I want to put this up. So all I have to do is just click on it and as you can see it automatically um, shows up here. You can remove this here by just clicking if you don't like it or instead of clicking you can simply drag this on top and put it where you want it to show. All right, so once that's done, uh, everything else I think it's pretty much okay. Um, so basically, I think that's pretty much it. So all you have to do is just go save and close, and it will, in this particular case, hopefully it would have uh, replaced the other post about the 2011 um, an article that I really don't want people to to be looking at and as you can see now it's uh, changed for the exact results that I want users to be looking at when they effectively uh, land uh, on this particular article so that's it that's pretty much why uh, one of the reasons why I'm using Zamanta it gives you good control of what uh, your related post could be. Um, installing the plugin is quite easy actually, so you just go to, to your uh, specific uh, WordPress backend, you add a new plugin, you search for Zamanta, you should get this results right here. What you're looking for is related post by Zamanta. Once you click install, you activate it, and then you actually have to create an account on Zamanta, which is pretty much automatic, for this to work. Once that's done, go to your uh, Zamanta settings here and you should be good to go. Well, I hope that helps. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.